Want to know Perth's best cheap area to invest in? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be covering off in today's Just Ask Tim video series. Had a question come through from Gary. He's a first home buyer on a limited budget, wanted to know the best area for him in, to invest in so that he can climb the property ladder. Now, before we kick it off, guys, though, let me introduce myself. My name is Tim Guest. I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the founder of Infinite Wealth. I've trained over 18,000 people how to reach their financial goals, whether they be things like home ownership, travel and lifestyle, all in retirement. We do it using only what people currently have available to them right now, and we do it with very high custom satisfaction ratings. Now, of course, welcome to our Just Ask Tim video series, where you can ask me, Australia's leading financial educator, anything, and I could be asking, answering your question live. Now, of course, if I don't get a chance to answer your question live, we'll always get back to you. We want to. We have a commitment that you guys always get the valuable information that you need. Now, of course, whether it's your first time tuning in or you're a long-time follower, welcome back. We love you guys. Like, really, these video series are for you, and without you, you none of this would be possible so thanks a lot for tuning in uh, of course we love to get your feedback so please like love angry comment question you know tell us what you think tell us how you feel about you know what it is that we're discussing uh, and of course the only other thing that I ask guys please share this information with your friends and family please share it on your social media uh, platforms uh, it helps us build a bigger audience but also it allows your friends and family family to get benefit of this valuable information as well the only other last thing I'm going to do guys before we kick it off just click the like button for me I just want to see that people can hear me properly and see me okay before we get into the topic itself. All right, great guys. All right, so let's get into it, right? So the Perth property market is showing increasing signs of recovery. So vacancies are down, rents are rising, um, sales volumes are increasing and more, and 40% of suburbs in Perth are worth more than they were 12 months ago. So it's undoubted we're into sort of the recovery phase of the cycle. But what's Perth's best, cheapest area to invest in? Well, recently, and this was also featured in Terry Ryder's uh, Cheapies with Prospect Act number four, the Quinana Precinct offers uh, certainly is Perth's best cheap area to get into. So it's got a lot to offer, um, whether it's home buyers or investors, and the standout features of Quinana as an area, primarily that it's affordability, it's also producing great uh, yields for investors, and then of course what we've also gonna, uh, it's gonna be supporting it over um, in the future is really strong population growth. So I'm gonna detail all of those things. I've, I've done a whole bunch of research here, guys. I'm gonna go through it step by step so you know all the facts and figures as well. Um, so firstly, this is Perth's cheapest precinct. So there's several suburbs having median house prices in the $200,000. It's incredible to think that you can still get a house under uh, with a two, that starts with a two, right? So for some time, the city of Quinana has been identified as a, uh, an area of projected high growth. As an example, with the census between 2011 and 2016, the population of the, of the Quinana local government area grew by 9,700 people, which is a rise of 33%. Incredible rise in the population. Now, this growth has been enhanced by the extensions of the Quinana Freeway and the opening of the Perth to Mandurah rail line, which includes Quinana's two train stations. Now, this train service is seen, is seen as a major boost to the city's revitalisation policy, and it also allows commuters to reach the CBD in 30 minutes. Um, with relatively young population featuring a high proportion of children and teenagers, Quinana also offers a wide range of educational opportunities from both private and public sectors. So these include things like uh, the Gilmore College, uh, Quinana Christian School, and St Vincent's a Catholic Primary School, as well as two TAFE colleges in the area and seven childcare centres. Um, we've also got Aurelia Primary School, uh, Gilmore College and Challenge and Tafe, which are all located in the suburb of Aurelia. Now also, Quinana is part of the massive Western Trade Coast Industrial Area, which provides employment for 11,000 people and adds $15 billion to the, uh, per year to the local economy. Now this is constantly expanding, creating more jobs, and is complemented by the largest lithium plant. I'm going to go into some more details about the lithium plant uh, in the world, the largest lithium plant in the world, which began production earlier this year. So driving the local economy is the Quinana Industries Councils, which is made up of nine major organisations, including Alcoa, BHP, BP, Coburn Cement, Coogee Chemicals, CSPB Limited, Fremantle Ports, Synergy and Tronox. Um, the vacancy rates through Konana did rise during the periods of 2015, but that's before beginning their descent uh, in late 2016 and 2017. They've continued that downward trajectory ever since, and that's despite the new construction activity happening in the area. At present, the vacancy rates in the local postcodes are a little above 3%, and I've got those figures from SQM Research. But what about the future? What's coming down the pipeline? So the leading jobs generator in, Krona, in the Quinana Precinct, backed by the state government, is that Western Trade Coast. 
Coast industrial area. So the WTC is a long-term project which is still under development and it has links to key infrastructures such as the Australian Marine, Australian Marine Complex uh, in Henderson, Quinana and the Rockingham industrial areas, Fremantle Port, Freight Rail and also the Quinana Freeway. Upon completion, the WTC will provide around about 22,000 jobs. That's, that's doubling in terms of the amount of employment that's going to be providing. As trade increases through West Australian ports, the possibility of additional container terminal facilities at Quinana's outer harbour has also been raised. And under the guidance of the federal government, a task force has been established to investigate the project, which is listed on the 2019 infrastructure priority list. Now, according to the city of Quinana, families moving to the area are uh, attracted by the region's commercial and industrial infrastructure, the shopping precincts, community facilities, transport links, and job opportunities. Now, the, the population of this area is forecast to grow to 84,000 people within the next two decades. So the Quinana city plans to release an average of 1,000 residential lots per year, most of which are occur occurring within the $5.8 billion Eastern Residential Intensification concept, which stretches from Ancatel in the north to Wellard in the south. And this includes things like, uh, or suburbs like Aurelia, which is purely a residential suburb, and Parmelia. Also these lithium plants, I wanted to talk about these in a little bit more details as well. So lithium, which is used in the manufacturing of mobile phones, electronics and electric cars, is a highly sought after mineral. The largest lithium mine in the world, which is at Greenbushes, 90 kilometres south of Quinana, produces a third of the global supply. Tianqui is building a uh, 700 million lithium processing plant in Quinana, which is reported to be the largest in the world. And the first stage is completed and production uh, began earlier this year. Now, um, uh, another lithium ref uh, refinery is also planned. Kidman Resources, with a joint venture with SQM, is developing an $850 million lithium uh, project in the Goldfields region, Goldfields region, with plans to develop a, uh, a, a refinery at Quinana as well, so potentially another plant there. Now, over half the world's lithium supplies can be found in Western Australia, and Professor Peter Newman of Curtin University forecasts that by 2025, the mineral could deliver more income to Australia than iron ore, so that's a massive jump. Okay, the lithium industry has the potential um, to lead to thousands of jobs. Uh, and the other thing that I wanted to add here is we've also got the Challenger Precinct as well, which is a future prospect, and the Education Precinct. So the City of Quinana um, has proposed also a residential and mixed-use development near the South Metropolitan TAFE, which incorporates uh, the Challenger Institute of Technology. Now, the Challenger Precinct, which is a joint venture of the Satterley Group and the Department of Housing, encompasses the area directly south of the Quinana Marketplace. Development of the smaller Education Precinct aims to provide facilities and services complementary to that kind of education, residential and commercial uses within the Kuanana city, uh, city Centre as well. So this education precinct will deliver 150 homes while the Challenger site proposes around 900 dwellings, uh, which will house around about 1,900 people. Uh, there's also some other uh, uh, projects in there. Aurelia Shopping Precinct, the construction of the village, which is a 320 hectare master plan community as well. As well. And that includes a shopping centre, an approved primary school, a proposed primary school, and a high school. So all in all, in terms of all the hi highlights that we talking about when it comes to Quinana, look, you're talking affordable housing, we've got an additional 10,000 jobs being created over the next 30 years, you've got strong population growth, you've got a, a, a $6 billion residential project happening there, large industrial areas, so great access to jobs, train links to the CBD and the largest lithium plant in the world. So some pretty good highlights, particularly when we're talking about suburbs that you can get into in the $200,000 mark. So Gary, I hope that provides you with the information that you wanted in terms of what's Perth's best cheap area to get into. The answer is without a doubt uh, Quinana all right so guys look that pretty much covers it off for our just ask Tim video series couple of things that I want to uh, just remind you of before we finish up firstly love to see your interaction with these posts so please comment question like love angry tell us what you think tell us how you feel I love to see you guys feedback about these videos also guys please share this with your friends and family so they can get the benefit of this valuable information and it also allows us to continue to build a bigger audience as well so of course we get something out of it as well which is fantastic all right um, guys also keep your questions coming for our Just Ask Tim video series. If there's a question you want to ask or a topic that you want um, me to talk more specifically about, send those details through. You can reach out to us at Infinite Wealth AU or at Tim Guest AU on multiple uh, social media platforms and we'll be sure to get back to you guys. Hope you guys are having a great week. I'll be coming at you uh, with The Wire, the week in real estate, with all the top stories happening from the week in real estate, finance and investment tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and remember guys, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So have a great week. Look forward to speaking to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.